Air Synbox is an error tracking solution that helps you proactively detect, triage, and resolve errors to help you fix them before they impact your users. Now you can even create Jira tickets in seconds inside Air Synbox. Today I'll show you a few cool capabilities, including how to set up the Air Synbox integration with Jira for faster debugging. Airs Inbox can be used out of the box via APM, browser, mobile, and Notel entities in New Relic with no setup required. Here, I'm in Airs Inbox view for an APM service. I see that my application has seven error groups that occurred in the past 24 hours. Let's check out the error group details to get more context. In this error group view, I can expand the stack trace to start looking for a root cause or copy an individual line to send to a teammate. For additional clues, the Attributes tab is a heat map of attributes inside this error group, which can help me find commonalities between the related errors for faster resolution. In the event that your team monitors multiple applications or services, you can group them all into a workload so that your team doesn't have to check multiple inboxes. Let's say that the team responsible for this fix has their own ticketing system in Jira. I can actually send the details of this error straight into their Jira project and create a new ticket. Just like that, I've gone from detecting an error to ensuring it's assigned to a team member. Now, let me show you how easy it is to set up the integration with Jira. First, in Error Sandbox, click on the Jira integration icon next to the error group you want to connect to Jira. If you don't already have a connection with the Jira, click Add Jira Workspace. To set up a new Jira workspace, I'll fill in the following fields. A descriptive name to easily identify the destination workspace, the URL to the specific Jira environment, my Jira username, and the API token generated from Jira. I'll toggle on the two-way integration so that the information is synced between Jira and New Relic. Notice there are links to relevant documentation if you need help filling out these fields. Before saving the destination, I'm going to test the connection. Great, it works, so let's save the destination. Next, I'll set up a template. Templates determine what information will be sent to Jira. In Errors Inbox, click the Jira icon next to an error group to see the Jira destination you created. Then click the Add New Template link in the Jira destination. The template also needs to include the following information. A JIRA destination, project, issue type, the type of ticket to be created, required fields such as summary and description, and the reporter. Note that New Relic will fetch the ticket schema and dynamically display all required fields for that ticket type, but you can add the other optional fields too. I'll click Send Test Notification to preview what the ticket looks like in Jira. So I'll go back and click update message to save the template. Note that this test notification creates a ticket in my Jira workspace so I can close it out later. Now anyone who has access to this inbox can start creating Jira tickets in two clicks while triaging errors. Plus when a Jira ticket is created, the link to that ticket is stored alongside the associated error group metadata. So that means if there's a regression and a previously fixed error comes back to haunt me, I easily see the context around the original solution instead of trying to remember if a familiar looking error has been fixed before. Today, we saw how easy it is to connect and create Jira tickets with Error Sandbox. Learn more about Error Sandbox with the resources listed in the description. Happy debugging!